Hi. So we're going to do these two together because they're kind of correlates. We're going to do the WJSN and we're going to do the IOY CHMX because Young John is in Cosmic Girls. We're going to do Cosmic Girls first, I think. Yeah. So I was not going to buy this album, but I saw Miu's unboxing. And I was like, ooh, this is pretty. And I was like, okay, let me let me listen to it again. Because at first, I was kind of like, meh, it is what it is. But then I listened to it again, and my life kind of, like, changed. And I was like, okay, this is actually a solid mini album. Their first one, I think it's called Would You Like. How about no? I would not like. I I listened to the whole thing. Because I was, I was like, okay, I'm going to give it a chance because it's a Starship group. And, you know, Starship usually always makes good music. But that album, I was like, really? Ah. I just could not get down with that album. But this one, I can get down with. Ooh, it's so shiny. So here's the box. Which, yeah. You have, um, the you have Secret, which is song one which is so good I rip that's such a catchy song Bebe which is another really good song Would You Kiss Me I like it that's cute that's a cute one um that's probably my least favorite though Prince and Robots produced by G R Boy that's my favorite song off the album and then we have god damn shut the fuck up Good Night, which is a really nice song. Like, there's that one part where it's, like, I think it's after the second chorus where it's, like, do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-
homegirl that was in the front that started it. Who is she? She's gorgeous. I'm feeling her. Face bosses like there's these visuals, and then there's the group pictures or where it makes them look like there's like a million of them. And then, ooh, like this fantasy concept. There's like the galaxy. This is really pretty. Ooh, she's pretty. Let me say that about each member because it's true. So I'm glad I gave them a second chance because this was the album that kind of was like, okay, they're not a flop. Oh, she's so gorgeous and cute. And the photo card is slipping out. Group card, by the way. Um, the leader. Her short hair is killing it. Oh, this is such a cool concept. I like it. This is such a, this is a great photo book. Holy crap. Like, it's just a great photo book. Okay, CD, you're kind of fucking up my, my flow. They is just looking real cool with them shades. And then lyrics. Robots. Again, that is my favorite song. Um, I'm trying to find the part. Oh, because I was looking in um, Good Night. This is the part. It's after the, um, whatever. It's like, I don't know. The way they sang it was really cute. And it was like, catch it. Credits. And then here's the Chinese lyrics for the Chinese version. And then the CD. I love all this purple. Here's, I don't like the disc, how it's held in the in this flap, because you know, that always makes me nervous. Ooh. Oh my gosh. I'm in like purple heaven. This is like my favorite shade of purple, that like rich, dark purple. Ugh. Cosmic girls. Y'all's trying to like, they really trying to wear my heart with all this purple. And you know what? It's kind of, it's, it's kind of working. <laughs> So that was the Cosmic Girls album. As you can tell, I'm a sucker for the purple. Purple. <laughs> my bed, my pillowcases are purple. My sheets are purple. Well, at home they are. My sheets here are like teal. And then, going on with this trend, we're gonna go to IOI with their mini album, Crystal Crystallis. I'm gonna be on it. When the show first started airing, I heard Pick Me and I was like, huh? I was like, no, this is bad. Like, oh my God, it was really bad. Damn, she tall as hell. Like, her height is like almost killing everybody else. Like, damn. Especially when she's next to you, Jung. <laughs> um, and then... I was like, okay, bye, bye for the show, because I'm not here for it. And then, here's the bag. This is bigger than I thought it was going to be. Like, it's big. But recently, I watched it, and I fell in love with it. And I've grown to care about all of these girls and the other girls that we saw more toward the ending, Oop. Towards the ending episodes. It's all good. This is hard, so it's not going to break. Um, and... It just sucks that they're going to be disbanding because they only have a year. And this, like, I, I think what it said is the October comeback is their last one. And that just makes me really sad because, like, 
when they disband, we don't know when Franz Hagio girls date group is going to debut. We don't know when Pledis Girls is going to debut. We don't know what's going to really happen to Chunga, and we don't know what's going to happen to Sohye. So I'm just like, I'm nervous. I'm, and I'm sad. And we don't know what's going to happen for the JYP group for some. Like, I'm just, I'm nervous. So. Very pink. Here's the CD. Oh, this is huge. Holy crap. Here's this CD. I like the logo. It's, it's clean. Okay. Um, we'll start with this one because it was like the first one. So, ooh, this album's stinking. So it's ranked. So we have Somi first, and what is all this info? Career and specialty and hobby and constellation and blood type birth cool beans they're so young okay somi is very young sejong she's one of my favorites she just stood out to me um oh my gosh okay i'm only a few months older than her and then yu jung which she is Miss Bang Bang expression, like her expression when she did that, like, wait a minute, let me take you there. And she was like, I was like, she kills it. She kills every single one of her stages. Chunga, she is that dancer girl. Okay, she's older than me. We have one that's older than me. And then we have Sohye and Gyu Gyung, um, Pinky. Joe, Joe, whatever, whatever, they, they call her, like, three different names, I felt really bad for her, I think, like, her character was, like, the pity character, like, yeah, but I really felt for her, because she got kind of played, her entertain, she said that her entertainment, com her acting company was like, oh, do you want to do Produce 101, there's going to be acting on it, she was like, okay, sure, and then she went to the audition for Produce 101, and they were like, no, there's no acting on the show, this is for a girl group, and she was like, <gasps> I was like, girl, ooh, they played you. She's also one of my favorites because I she has that voice. She has the visuals. She is an all-around really good one. Just, I just care so much for every single one of these girls. And then, yes, damn it, I love it. All of this. Oh, my gosh. Like, it's just a lot. Whoa! Okay. Oh! Go young! Hey, girl! Oh. Oh. Okay, Shady Boots. They left out um, Yoo Jung, Yun Jung's name. Mm -hmm. Then we have, um, who are you? Chaeyun, who is in Dia. She's pretty. And then Doyeon. Okay, they're both younger than me. And then we have Kongmina, which she's just adorable. When they when she was on she got on the um the like special food because she was like the one of the more heavier sided girls and then they had to get the special lunch and then she was like looking for the container that had the most food. I was like, girl, we the same because I would be doing that too. Then we have M. Nyan, Stone Face, which she's the oldest one and the supposed leader. Damn, girl, you ain't got no hobbies. <laughs> like hers. Lack of emotions, because she barely wrote anything. And then we have Young Jung. And then that is it for this photo book. And moving on to the other side. Whew. This is. This is big, so I'm having like struggles. If they have a special edition for um the comeback one, I will buy it. Cause I missed out. <laughs> I should have been like on my shit watching the show. Pick me. Okay, I have grown to kind of like pick me now. So ah, so okay. I just ah. I care for every single one. So it's gonna be so hard when they disband. Which is like a weird thing like they literally 
introduced us to these girls. We cared for these girls. And then there's that over our heads fact that this group is not permanent and that they're going to disband. Which I'm just like, you playing with our emotions so much. How can you do that? Stay on. Like, oh, how can you do that? Stickers on your face. They gotta go, girl. I'm not gonna know that. Ugh. So, for this comeback, she's Joe. <sighs> okay. Or Chow. Whatever. Mike Check. Yunjong. Her nail and got them goes to soul was so good. Speaking of girls that didn't make it into the final lineup, Han Yeti. I wish she would have, because I really like Han Yeti. Um, Danny. When is that girl gonna debut? Like she's been around for a while. Then, lyrics. Dream Girls is an okay song. It is probably one of my least favorites on the album. I don't know. It's kind of basic. Then we have Knock Knock Knock, which is one of my favorites, and Duop. Both of these songs are really great, especially Knock Knock Knock. I love the full that one. And the one part after the chorus where it's like, Oh mana, oh mana, oh tell me, boy. I was like, Ah, that's cute. And then we have Crush. Oh my gosh. Kung Kwan Uwa Uwa. I like that song. It is very lively. And then we have Pokuchi Jin Young, which was produced by Jin Young. And Jin Young is supposed to be producing a song on this new album, so I'm excited because this is my favorite song on this album. It's one of my favorite songs of 2016. It is so good. I just love the song so much. And then we have Pick Me, which at first I was like, ooh. But I kind of like Pick Me now. It's like. It, it gets addicting after a while. Like, it gets stuck in your head and you're like, I told myself I wasn't gonna like this song. And then you're going out about throughout your day and it's just like, you're in your free time and all of a sudden you just start singing that pick me, pick me, pick me up. And I'm just like, no. And then credits. And then, yeah. And that's it. What is this? Na, 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 na. Okay. So... I'm very happy that I have this. Like, and if you saw my photo card reveal video, the photo card I got is so me. Hey girl, I got the most popular number. So that is cool. She's saying she loves the fans. Um and all of that good stuff. Like the first thing is Nesarong, Shen Nimdu, or producers, or whatever. That's cute. So that was the unboxing there. WJSN and IOI. And I just want to say, like, on, on a side note after this video, because it's getting really long, girl groups in 2016 have really been killing it, because last year I was kind of not feeling all the, like, girl group songs that was coming out last year, but this year, I'm, like, living, like, restore my faith in these girl groups, please. And I've been getting some good girl groups this year, which is very happy. It makes me happy. Like, we got some good Red Velvet, some good Oh My Girl, some good G Friend, some good Cosmic Girls, IOI, um, Taeyeon, Tiffany, Jessica, A Pink. Like, I've been getting some, I've, I'm getting my girl group fixed with this year. Um, I'm here for it. I'll see y'all on the next video. Bye.